Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and my new beauty room. I am so excited to be filming in this new space. This is the first time I'm filming in here. And for some of you who have been with me since day one, this backdrop is probably bringing back a lot of memories because I have some of the same trinkets that I had uh, in my backdrop from my first ever videos. The Chanel skateboard, the coffee table books, this little alpaca and llama. This is, this is new, my sister brought it back from Peru. It's so cute. Just thought I would throw him in there. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, this is what it's gonna be for now. I might switch it up from here. Kyle's home. I'm wrapping up the video, Shh. But anyway, for today's tutorial, I wanted to show you guys how you can get a glossy effect without actually using a gloss on the eyelids because anytime I have done a glossy eye makeup look on Instagram, I get a ton of questions asking, does it crease, does it last, does it get messy? And the answer is always yes. It is the messiest look you can do. It definitely doesn't last, but if you like that grungy effect, then it works. But it's definitely not an everyday wearable look. So I thought I would show you guys how you can create that effect just using eyeshadow. So if you guys are interested and wanna see how I got this eye makeup look, keep on watching. All right, first thing we're gonna do is apply a cream eyeshadow to the lid. And I mentioned these in my last video and I cannot say enough good things about them. They quickly became a favorite product of mine. These are the Magnetic Matte Eye Color Pencils by Nude Sticks. And the reason I love them so much is because I think they are incredibly easy to work with. They're super creamy, but they don't crease. When you apply them to the lid, it still looks like skin. They don't cake up or get really thick like a lot of other creamy eyeshadow products do. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. I don't have any foundation on my eyelids, which is really important because that can also lead to creasing. So I did apply my foundation and concealer, but I just sort of tapped the edges and lightly blended them in, but left the entire eyelid bare with no foundation. And I'm using the color Fig today because I wanna go more towards the warm side. Make sure you do one eye at a time so it doesn't have a chance to set and dry down. And just apply it really close to the lash line and then slowly work your way to blending it up towards the crease and really diffusing out that cream shadow. But you can already see it on this side. See how it still looks like skin? It doesn't look like you have a heavy cream eyeshadow on the lid. Oh, and I also have my face highlighter on my brow bone. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I think because I was already working on the skin, I decided to finish it. And by the way, I will include all of the products on my skin in the description box as well. And if you need to, you can just take your fingertip and blend out the edges. And obviously we have foundation on and we're applying a cream product. So if it starts to get cakey in this outer edge, blend in this direction instead versus out this way. Blend towards the cream product. That way you're not uh, disrupting the foundation and concealer you have on. You can also grab a face powder. I used the Laura Mercier one today and go around the edges with that as well to just soften out the edges of the cream eyeshadow. Now to get that wet glossy effect on the eyelids without using an actual gloss, you want an eyeshadow with a specific finish. I'm gonna be using these ColourPop eyeshadows as a reference so you guys can see the difference. So do you see this eyeshadow up here in the corner, this one right here? This one is more of like a metallic eyeshadow, like a pressed pigment. And you can see the reflect it gives is a little more chunky, whereas the other ones down here give off more of a sheen. I mean, there's some matte ones mixed into here as well. But just look at this one right here. See how it's like a very reflective, but not chunky or glittery finish? That is what you want. And you can really use whatever color it is that you want, depending on the look you're going for. So I'm going more for a wet bronzy look. So the shadow I'm gonna use is, you know the drill. And I'm gonna swatch it on my fingers so you guys can see the color and the reflect on skin first before I apply it to my eye. Okay, so here's a swatch of the eyeshadow and you can see it has a really nice, I need to smooth it out too. It's just kind of, see how it has that glossy finish? High shine, high reflect, but not glittery. That's what you want. So I'm just gonna take my fingertip. Oh, I shouldn't have wiped it off because I'm gonna use it anyway. <laughs> I'm just going to use my fingertip to press it over the center of the eyelid and then I'm gonna use a brush to diffuse it elsewhere. So I'm just working my finger into the eyeshadow and then I'm just gonna press it over the center of the lid. And with that same brush I was using earlier, I'm just gonna buff around the edges. That way you can't tell where the powder eyeshadow ends. And most of the shadow stays in the center. 
And you can add more as you blend it out, but keep it mostly concentrated on the center of the eyelid. Your fingers work best for this because they really press the eyeshadow in and smooth it out. You saw how when I did the swatch, how I had to smooth it out to get that nice reflect or that nice smooth finish. So your finger works best, but just use that brush to diffuse the edges. And then we're not gonna touch the lower lash line. We're just going to focus on the actual eyelid from here on out. And to add a little more dimension like a glossy eye would have, I'm gonna take another eyeshadow with the same finish that's a little bit lighter and apply it right to the center of the eye up against the lash line. So just the tiniest amount. This is another ColourPop eyeshadow. It's called Ringer. And again, I'm just gonna use my fingertip and right there in the center. Sorry, don't mean to use my middle finger. <laughs> closest to the lash line. It's gonna give it even more of a glossy effect. And again, same brush to just buff out the edges. Do you guys see the glossiness happening? Do you see it? Do you see it? To me, this looks glossy and I wore it or I wore this look to a wedding the other day, and at night my eyes definitely looked glossy, which is what sparked the idea for this tutorial. And yeah, I just really like the effect that this gives, and it's so simple. Now to further intensify the glossy effect, I'm just gonna mist myself with Fix Plus. Any facial mist, facial spray, setting spray should work for this step. It doesn't have to be Fix Plus, as long as it is meant for makeup. Don't use water. <laughs> So concentrate it more so on the eyes. Make sure that the mist is hitting the eye area. So do this before mascara or else you'll ruin your mascara. <laughs> now I'm just gonna go in with a little more of my face highlighter as an inner corner highlight. This is Starburst by Ciate. I actually really like this from my first impressions video. I like the finish it gives my skin. It's really pretty. So just a little on the inner corners. And then to complete the look, I'm just gonna add mascara. I haven't been into wearing false lashes lately. They've really been irritating my eyes, but that's okay because I have been loving this Marc Jacobs mascara. It's nothing new, I've had it for a while. I just never thought to use it. It's the Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara and it works so good. So I'm just gonna pile that on my upper lashes and then for my lower lashes, I'm using Lifted by Tarte, it's the only one that doesn't transfer underneath my eyes, especially right now during summer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and BRB. <laughs> one more thing I just thought of because I was wiping away the mascara that got on my eyeshadow and to fix it or to re-intensify the eyeshadow, I came up with another trick to further intensify the glossy effect. So I took a little pencil eyeshadow brush and I picked up the lighter shade that's right at the lash line on the center of the lid. I picked it up, I sprayed it with the Fix Plus, and I reapplied it right to that center of the lid. And it made the look even more glossy. So try that as well, if you feel like your look isn't coming out as glossy as you'd like. But just keep it right there in the center. Don't take it out any further. All right, you guys, that wraps up this tutorial. The lip I applied is ColourPop's Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Jacquard, Jacquard, J-A-C-Q-U-A-R-D. <laughs> I've really been into coral lips lately, but I will link it down below along with everything else that is on my skin and what I'm wearing. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.